Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I thought I would do a Matchbox Monday. The mojo isn't particularly with me at the moment to work on the bench, so I thought I'd do a video instead. Now, as a lot of you know, um, one of my personal uh, group builds is to build as many 172nd scale uh, British aircraft as possible. Um, so basically anything that has served frontline service then I'll do a model of it and I realised that I could uh, kill two birds with one stone in that I could be building matchbox kits of uh, British aircraft and not have to worry about buying another kit um, of the same uh, model or sorry the, the same aircraft so with that in mind I've been searching a certain uh, auction site and trying to grab some of those uh, aircraft that I haven't uh, got already uh, on my shelf. So as you can see this one is Matchbox's BAC Lightning and I'm, I am wondering whether this, uh, this box is one of the very first. Uh, we will have a look in a minute to, to see why I, I think that. But uh, I do like the um, the artwork on the front of this uh, and I was very pleased to to get this off uh, off, uh, off eBay. So let's uh, have a quick uh, look at the back. So here we have um, two choices of, uh, of aircraft. We can either do a, an F6 um, of number 74 squadron Singapore August 1970 or we can do an F2A of uh, number 92 squadron Go to slow in West Germany, June 1974. I'm thinking of going for the the bottom one because I'm not very good at doing a natural metal finish on aircraft. But the reason I wonder if this is one of the original boxings is that there's no window, um, the see-through window that you usually get on Matchbox kits, and uh, I know that John Parker has said in some of his videos that the the first boxings didn't have the window. Um, I'm hoping that he'll um, he'll see this video and, and let me know whether that is the case. So shall we have a look uh, inside at the sprues? Um, I know I'm uh, looking forward to seeing them so let's get them out now. So the first sprue that we have um, contains the cockpit tub, um, looks like uh, sidewinder missiles, uh, fuel tanks, uh, the ejector seat, the probe for refueling, um, the pylons, the weapon pylons for the underwing, I think that is. Um, we've got some of the undercarriage there as well. Next sprue is the fuselage. Um, all the detail that you see on there is raised. I don't think there's any. The, this section here looks like it's recessed. Got some recessed line there as well but the rest of it looks like it's raised and I'm not going to mess about with that. I'll, I'll leave it as it is. So the final sprue is for the wings and we've got the pilot there as well and um, we've got the nose wheel and the undercarriage covers for the underwing as well there. What I've noticed on this kit is that um, it's again lacking any flash uh, which is great news. Um, I've just noticed the, I think I've just noticed the um, PK number on this one, so we'll see if we can see that a bit more clearly. So I hope you can see that. It says um, PK114, 114. The instructions are a typical matchbox where they fold out. Um, quite easy steps to follow, quite a, hopefully um, quite an easy build. It looks like it is anyway, it's just whether the fit of the parts are, um, are okay. And there's the, uh, the decal sheet, whether those decals will be usable is, uh, is another matter, but um, I'm hoping that they will be. If not, I'll have to get some aftermarket ones to replace them. So there we go guys, another Matchbox Monday, another model added to my uh, collection that will be built at some stage. I've just noticed uh, that on the inside of the fuselage, the um, this uh, particular kit was produced in 1976, so I would have been 10 when this came out. I just want to say um, 
thanks uh, to all my new subscribers I've actually um, gone beyond 700 um, as you guys who know me well my intention will be to uh, have a giveaway at 750 I tend to do it at every 250 subscribers um, so that may be in the offing perhaps uh, February of next year we shall see but uh, I do appreciate uh, all the new subscribers as I say that have joined the channel thanks ever so much everybody and of course all you uh, old hat hands as well who have um, stuck with me so that's it for this uh, Matchbox Monday I hope all your builds are going well and that your week of work has started well and I'll catch up with you soon